Hello, my name is Carlos Cortez. I'm uh, actually the coach of Reseda High School and Valley United Soccer Club. Uh, my background, I played professionally in Peru. Uh, my first contract was when, uh, it was when I was 16 years old. Uh, I came to the United States when I was 19 years old. I played for Seattle Sanders. I went to uh, try out for uh, Minnesota Thunders. And that's a little bit of my background history. I, uh, as I said before, I've been coaching for three years already. Uh, it's my third year in high school and third year also in club. Uh, I want to talk a little bit about uh, a particular player that I have on my team. Uh, his name is Ruben Barajas. Uh, the first time that I saw him, he probably was like 13, turning 14 years old. Uh, he came into Ursia High School. Uh, I received a, a little letter of, from his parents uh, telling me about him. Um, uh, my impression, I didn't really expect much. He was a, a freshman in the school, so I didn't have much expectations about it. Uh, but uh, eventually when I saw him playing, I was really impressed with, uh, with his skills. Uh, not just, uh, I mean, he is very skillful in the way of technique and the way how he moves in the field, but also something that he really caught my attention, it was uh, how he mature he was for his age. You know, in the sense that he was asking continually for the ball, he was basically dominating the game, uh, on an age that, you know, that he is really, really hard to get that. You know, as I said before, I'm talking about like 13, 40 years old. Uh, that, that was my first impression about him. Uh, later on, uh, I, I talked to him a little more about it, about his history playing and other teams. And, uh, and I wanted him to come to join my team because I think that it will be a, a really good fit since I'm looking for players that you know they care about the like, positioning of the ball and, and basically you know, have a good technique overall. Uh, a little more about Ruben, uh, his personality, he's a very committed uh, player and that's something that I really uh, appreciate about him. Uh, he obviously never misses a practice, he's very consistent on his playing, uh, uh, one of the things that, you know, lately he's getting so much better is about being uh, a little more aggressive, you know, in the sense that uh, because uh, in my idea it was to be a number 10 on the, on the team. So, you know, I think that he's getting the idea of, you know, how to manage himself a little bit more around uh, the team with because he's physically not that uh, big now. So uh, one of the things that we are working on him is you know basically you know learn he 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 have to understand that he doesn't necessarily be, have to be uh, physical you know or big in order to develop the, uh, all the skills that he can have you know yes it's more about like adding skills to the ones that he already have. Um, uh, one more thing, I mean, in, in his school, he's doing really good about the grades. I don't really have to worry about him. He's one, like, an A student, so, you know, that's something that I, I didn't really have to, like, even have a conversation with him. So I think that he's a, a, he, a, he has a really, really good potential in the future. Uh, I think he's a player that, as I said before, uh, his way of learning is really fast and the way that he works is really hard. So I don't think that there is nothing that, that will be on his way to get where he wants to be, uh, meaning college, meaning professional, meaning university, uh, soccer. I think that it basically is, it's just up to him, you know, and, and the things that we as a coach can help him to develop, you know, to become the player that he wants to be in the future.